Dana Coverstone. Let's talk about Dana Coverstone. Dana Coverstone right now is getting criticized by so many people. Do you think he wanted to make a video about his dream just to get criticized by people? Do you think that he knew I upload this, people are going to make fun of me, people are going to criticize me, people are going to harass me? Do you think that's what he wanted when he did this? No, I don't think so. I think that he listened to God and I think God put a burden on his heart, a dream in his brain, and I think he needed to share that dream. He needed to share that dream for God. When God puts something in your heart and you know it's from God and you follow what God wants you to do, God will take it from there. God will take it from there. So Dana made a video for some people that went viral. Do you think that it went viral on its own? I don't. I think God had a part in that. I really do. A lot of people are getting scared over this dream. I don't think you need to be scared. I don't think you should be scared at all. God is warning us about something to come. So what is God telling you? Use your own discernment over this dream and listen to what God is telling you. I know God is telling us to be frugal now. Be frugal. Don't spend a lot of money. Don't buy a lot of things and store up food or things that you might need over the next year uh, or however long you feel the need to do. If you feel the need to store up food for just a few months, do that. If God is telling you to store up something, store up enough for your family because you're going to be the one to help your family. Maybe your family thinks that this is just all hogwash and they're not going to do anything about it. And when the time comes, they're going to be like, oh, we should have listened. Be the person that listens to God. Listen to whatever God is telling you in your heart so you have enough to share. And when you share, do it humbly. Don't say, I told you so. Nobody needs to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. So, whatever you do, do for God, do it quietly, do it humbly, and don't make that person feel bad. A lot of people, since all of this dream and all of this business have, has come out, they've been saved. You know how many people probably have been saved and grown closer to God, got their Bible out and started reading? God has given you discernment now. If you're that person that's reading your Bible, God has given you the discernment to discern <laughs> from what is right, what is wrong, what you should believe, what you shouldn't believe, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Listen, listen, listen to that, that voice in your head or that burden on your heart and, and listen. Have you ever had a burden on your heart that was there for so long that until you did it, it went away? I've had those. I've had burdens on my heart. It's like, God, what do you need me to do? What do you need me to do? And God was telling me what I needed to do, but I really didn't want to do it. And until I did it, the burden was there. It was there. And finally, it was lifted after I did that certain thing that I needed to do. So listen. Listen to what's in your head. Listen to what's in your heart and do that. And God will do the rest. God will take care of the rest. If you need to talk to somebody, if you need to do do anything, God will take care of the rest. All you have to do is listen to Him. Listen to Him. And if you're afraid to go talk to somebody and you're praying about it, the words will come out of your mouth. Whatever, whatever God needs you to say, He'll give you the words and you'll say them. And believe me, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked by whatever it is you say. <laughs> because it's like, where'd those words come from? They came from God. The devil wants you to be so afraid right now. And God says, do not fear. God says, do not fear. He says that for a reason. Do not fear. Now that doesn't mean don't be concerned and don't be wanting to prepare and don't, don't just blow it off. God wants you not to be afraid. Don't be afraid. There's a difference in being afraid and being concerned. There's a difference there. So, are you afraid or are you concerned? God over here says, don't be afraid. The devil says, you need to worry. 
you need to worry. You don't need to worry. You don't need to worry because God will always take care of those who believe in him. God gives everybody a spiritual gift. Everybody has a spiritual gift. Dana Covington's spiritual gift, he might be the prophet. He might be the one that gets the dreams and, and tells the world. That might be God's given spiritual gift to him. I know Noah. Remember the story of Noah? Noah built the ark. Noah listened to God. Noah, people thought Noah was crazy. Noah, you're nuts. You are just the craziest person in the world. Kind of what Dana is getting right now. If you think about it, that's what's happening with Dana right now. People are thinking he's crazy. A lot of people, not everybody, are nuts and they're criticizing him. They did the same with Noah and the flood came. And God closed the doors of that ark and all those people that made fun of Noah or criticized Noah, where were they? They were in the flood. They probably, they died in the flood. Not probably, they did die in the flood. Use your discernment. What is God telling you to do right now? Is he telling you, mm, just listen to him? You know, do this, whatever, whatever God is telling you right now. Listen and don't be afraid of getting made fun of. Dana, Dana wasn't. Dana made that whole video about a dream knowing he was going to get criticized. This poor little guy, this little preacher guy from this little country town knew that, you know what, I may get made fun of if I make this dream, but that's okay because I'm listening to God. I'm doing what God needs me to do. So are you doing that in your life? Are you doing what God needs you to do? Because right now more than any, you need to. You need to be. Because who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's going to happen six months from now? So do what God needs you to do. All right. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.